All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a half fast 719. Got a lot of projects I got to do today. Um, a lot of stuff going on. I had to buy a new washing machine. I got sick of uh, <clears throat> the washing machine I had. It was a Maytag still. Um, it was probably like 17 years old. And it still worked. It just would beep. So something was wrong with the circuit board. I don't know. I've mentioned it in previous videos. But anyway, when I was putting on the cat uh, fuel filter for the drunken ram, when I was putting that on there, it kept beeping at me, beeping at me. And I said, I'm done. Next day, I went to Loa's. Went to Lowe's, picked this up. It's a Maytag front load washer machine. Um, it's a lot quieter than ours. Our old one used to, you know, rock back and forth. I actually had it bolted with an L bracket <clears throat> to the ground because this thing would, when we first put it in, it would walk as far as it could. So anyway, that's done. Now, hopefully I don't have to come back every freaking two minutes and push start because it would just stop and say error. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> yesterday was my last day at the local district uh, location job. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, where I was working here locally. Oh, man. Sorry. I had to look. I thought something was leaking. And uh, starting Monday, I will be back out traveling the road. So, um, the guys have a three-day weekend this weekend here locally. So, I have to show up on Monday to report for work. And then we're off on Tuesday. So, we'll be off Tuesday all the way till Monday. Um, <clears throat> so, I'll be off for seven days. So I'll start doing that cycle again, and then hopefully be able to get working on uh, Project Crack Pipe here while I'm off. Depending on if I stay on this job, because I really don't like the <clears throat> excuse me, I really don't like the supervisor. So today, this weekend, truck is parked here. What I got is new brake pads, rotors. Um, I don't know if these are the front or the rear. These are the front or the rear. Um, I'll have to look it up. But there are the CarQuest severe, severe duty brake pads. And we got a third gen Mega Cab on here. When I opened it, I was like, uh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so there you go. Everything diesel. It's your truck. But wrong color. Anyway. So I got some pads or rotors for it too. Um, all together, rotors and brake pads. Uh, Advanced Auto Parts, which owns CarQuest now. So Advanced Auto Parts owns CarQuest. Um, they were having a sale, I don't know, two weeks ago. And uh, ended up picking up all this for 400 I think it's 420 bucks. Um, for that and with these lug studs, I have two lug studs that I got to install too. <clears throat> so these were $12 a piece. So anyway, hopefully they're the right ones. So I got brake pads, rotors to install. Ordered me some LED cargo lights. These are supposed to be for the cargo lights for the rear of the truck. I don't know. Hopefully, um, ordered me some, uh, whatchamacallit, some flood lights, flood puddle lights that go into the mirror. Um, ordered these. Um, my previous video when I did the mirrors, uh, I asked DB Motors when I put the mirrors on the truck, the lights for the mirrors, those are from DB Motors. Um, when I had my other 4th gen, so these are switchbacks, when I had my other 4th gen, uh, uh, they ordered, they sent me some of these, or no, actually, I take that back, I ordered these, and these online, on eBay, um, 
from DB Motors. Did a review, an install review, whatever. They liked it, so they ended up sending me some interior lights for the other 4th gen. Some LED interior lights. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, you see these ones are not the LEDs. So the other truck that my buddy has, his has the LEDs. <clears throat> so I asked them on the last video when I installed these because they did send me these for free switchbacks I was like hey maybe you could send me some floodlights and I haven't heard from them so um so I just ordered some uh I'm not sure how these will work sorry this video is going on forever and ever and also the problem with the high beam LED headlights is my last video when I did the LED lights whatever this bulb was blown um, was bad <clears throat> when I took it out something fell out of it a little capacitor or resistor <clears throat> anyway so um, I ended up buying another set of LED lights because the company that I contacted um, they wanted me to return them within like three days and I'm like dude I'm working and I didn't have time to tear the headlights out do whatever so whatever it is what it is I'm gonna put all these lights in so I got highs and lows <clears throat> highs and lows you got the 9005 and the I think it's the H11 right there if you could see it <clears throat> that says H8 H9 H11 but this trucks a H11 and then you got the 9005 <clears throat> So I'm going to stick all these in there, in the truck, take apart the grill again, put these lights in. <clears throat> I have not had any moisture since I put those desiccant packs in. So um, there was moisture in here. So no more moisture, which is good. A good. Um, yeah, so headlights, cargo lights. I'm going to check my reverse lights. Oh, that's what it was, reverse lights. Reverse lights and I think cargo lights were the same bulb. Under mirror lights, lug studs, light bulbs, and I'm going to get rid of those U-bolt clamps for the exhaust that go in and crimp, and I'm going to replace them with these. These are 5-inch stainless steel band clamps. Um, I bought six of these. They were three for, <clears throat> I think, three for $23. And I bought six and made the guy an offer. I'll buy six for 50 bucks. And he accepted the offer. So, anyway, I'm going to get cracking on this. Because this video is getting too long already. And uh, eventually I'll have to do the brakes on here. Maybe this tomorrow. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm just, I'm wore out still. We, <clears throat> we had to go do a project. Because our welders are no good. <clears throat> They blew up a, uh, it's called a frog, but anyways, it's a switch where the train transfers into another track right there in the center that's called a frog, um, and they were welding on it, welding on it, they blew it up, <clears throat> blew it up meaning they couldn't repair it anymore because they welded so much and such crappy welds and they didn't clean out all the crap, and then they started welding on top of it, and then it just, we call it alligator. So it went like this, psh, popped open. Anyway, so they went, they removed it, put a piece of rail in there to get trains through. And uh, yeah, then the next day, till 11.30 at night, we were installing it. So anyway, I'm beat, wore out. Anyway guys, stay tuned for the next video. Next video, I'll probably do uh, headlights, headlights, first lights, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyway guys. I gotta get started on these brakes and I'm gonna be testing out the horsepower of Milwaukee. Alright guys, stay tuned for those videos. Later.